You know that feeling when you are reading about something and you see a word that you've never seen before and you don't really know how to figure out what it means? Well, to help with this, we will learn about a strategy called context clues. In this lesson, we will first see what context clues are and then we will learn about three types of context clues that can help us to figure out the meaning of new words. We will learn about more types of context clues in class 4. To help us understand the meaning of an unknown or difficult word, authors sometimes give us hints. These hints can be found in the context or the language that surrounds a word. We will now look at three types of context clues. Let's focus on the first one, definition. Sometimes we can find that the definition of a word is right there. For example, Ms. Mary is an affable teacher. She is pleasantly easy to approach and always friendly. In this sentence, we can see that the meaning of the word affable is given in the following sentence. So now we learn that affable means approachable and friendly. Let's come to the second context clue. Synonym Sometimes we can find that the author has used a synonym of a word in the following sentences. For example, Ms. Mary is quiet affable. In fact, she reminds me of Ms. N. Do you remember how kind she was? In this sentence, we can see that a comparison is being made between two people, Ms. Mary and Ms. N. The author is saying that Ms. Mary and Ms. N both have the same quality. And what is that quality? We don't know what affable means, but we can see that the word kind has been used to describe Miss Anne. So this way we can guess that affable is a synonym for the word kind. Coming to the third context clue, antonym. Sometimes we can find that the author has used an antonym of a word in the following sentences. For example, I miss teacher Mary. Our new teacher is cranky and unapproachable. Ms. Mary was so affable. Just as we saw in the previous example of synonyms, in this sentence also we can see that a contrast is being made between two people, Ms. Mary and a new teacher. The author is saying that these two teachers are different from each other. But how are they different? We don't know what affable means, but we can see that the words cranky and unapproachable are being used to describe the new teacher. Since we are told that Miss Mary was not like the new teacher, we can guess that affable has to be the opposite for the words cranky and unapproachable, telling us that Miss Mary was approachable. So these are the three strategies that can help us to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words in passages. Let's look at some examples together. In this sentence, can you guess what the word swiftly means? Let's do it together. If I don't know what the word swiftly means, then I will see if one of these three context clues can help me understand it. Let's apply them one by one. Do you think the definition clue applies here? The definition clue does not apply here because the definition of the word swiftly is not given. 
Do you think the synonym clue applies here? Yes, it does. We can see that the synonym of the word is given to us here, quickly. So this way from the synonym clue, we have learned that the word swiftly means quickly. In this sentence, can you guess what the word ferocious means? Let's do it together. If we don't know what the word ferocious means, then we will take the help of the three context clues we have studied. Let's apply them one by one. Do you think the definition clue can help us here to understand what the word ferocious means? The definition clue is not useful for us here because the author has not given us the definition of the word ferocious in this sentence. Do you think the synonym clue applies here? It does not because in synonyms we focus on similarities. But here we are talking about two different qualities. So we can see that the antonym clue applies here because we are talking about differences. The sentence tells us that the gorillas are mostly gentle but sometimes they are not gentle. Can you tell me what is the opposite of gentle? Yes, the opposite of gentle can be violent or wild. So this way from the antonym clue we have learned that the word ferocious means violent or wild. In this sentence, can you guess what the word chimera means? Let's do it together. If I don't know what the word chimera means, then I will see if one of the three context clues can help me understand it. Do you think the definition clue applies here? Yes, we can see right away that the author has given us the definition of the word chimera right after he has used this word. So from the definition clue, we are able to know that a chimera is a mythical creature that has body parts from different animals. Let's have a quick recap before we end our lesson. When you use clues in a sentence or a passage to figure the meaning of a new word, you are using context clues. There are many different types of context clues. For now, we have discussed three. In the definition clues, the word's meaning is explained in the sentence. In the synonym clues, other words are present in the passage that have a similar meaning to them. In the antonym clues, a word is clarified by giving the opposite meaning. Okay students, that's it for today's lesson. Take care and happy learning.